Hi, I'm Peter. I'm from Connecticut, and I identify myself as an ex-Republican. I cast my first ballot for president in 1984 when I helped re-elect Ronald Reagan to the highest office in this land. My support for Republican candidates ran well through 2012. I even voted Republican in 2016, but it wasn't for the nominee. I chose Governor John Kasich as a write-in because I thought he was a man of great integrity. Integrity is what's important and what we are sorely lacking in Donald Trump. It's been readily evident since his very first day in office. When he chose to send his press secretary out to argue with the press over the attendance, instead of focusing on the business of the people, he's focused on the business of the Trump family. He's really all about self-aggrandizement, about an opportunity to build his own business, getting foreign visitors to stay at his hotel in D.C., not about actually doing something meaningful. He panders to particular communities within his party, and he builds alliances that are not based upon actually accomplishing anything, but more upon attacking their enemies. The problem with the Republican Party in general is that they're unwilling to challenge him. Those that are elected have learned very quickly that if you challenge the president, Donald Trump will take you down by insulting you, demeaning you, helping challenge people uh, against you in your primary. He is, he is loyal to only one person himself. He demands loyalty and he gives no loyalty in return. And speaking of loyalty, I label myself as a conservative and I have certain values and policy beliefs that I follow. Donald Trump is not aligned to those values and he never has been. I know he never will be. Problem with the Republican Party right now, as I said, is that no one will challenge him. They're letting him behave however he wants. The only way that we're going to solve that problem is to take him out of office. It's not going to be solved within the party. The first step is to cut the head of the snake off. And that means electing Joe Biden as president in, 26, in 2020. That means that we can't wait for another four years of Donald Trump doing irreparable damage to our party, to our country, and to the world we live in. He is a cancer that needs to be excised. Voting for Joe Biden is not something that I would have done eight years ago, not even four years ago, but now he is the only way that we're going to defeat Donald Trump. And I ask all of my like-minded conservative and Republican-leaning uh, voters in this country for the for the good of our nation. Don't vote for Donald Trump. Choose Joe Biden. We'll work this out in 2024, but for 2020, we've got to go with someone that will remove Trump from office and help us get our country in a better direction. Thank you.